welcome to episode 24 of Forever Everton. We are in fifth on 20 points after 11 games. Um, we'll go straight into the schedule so you can see. Obviously, last time you saw us, we got beaten 3-1 at home to Barcelona, which was disappointing. And after that, we managed a 2-2 with West Brom, which was also a little bit disappointing, especially as we went 2-0 up. And, uh, well, Mr. Burke, for them, he came back on the 29th minute after... Frederico Valverde scored and uh, managed to squeeze that equaliser in at the 90th minute, which was a little bit upset. And as you can see, we didn't play badly. Um, we certainly had the shots and the on-target shots, comparatively speaking, but uh, we could not come away, unfortunately, with all three points. And that was disappointing, to say the least. After that, though, we had the next Champions League group game away at Istanbul. Besiktas, Istanbul, no less. And we beat them 5-1. A very, very solid performance. Even President Kimpembe got on the uh, score sheet, so that's not bad. But we had a hat-trick there from Thiago Armada and one from Hlozek as well, which was very, very nice. So very happy with that result. Straight after that, we had Brighton in the Premier League, which we won 3-2. Again, it was a little bit of a little bit of a twitchy game. We played well, but so did they. I mean, overall, they had slightly better possession. They had better on-target shots than we did, but we still managed to come away with a 3-2 victory, which was quite nice. Like I say, we played well enough. Um, though we did have a couple of players at the back who struggled a wee wee bit. Um, after that, we were then back in the Champions League, this time away at Porto, um, which we managed a 2-2. And it was one of those that I was actually quite pleased with that result in the end, because they went 2-0 up. And it took us from the 75th minute and the 86th minute. Admittedly, we forced an own goal there from Alex Tellis. I don't know if we can watch that. See if he'll let us. Nope, doesn't look like it's going to happen. And, of course, a goal on the 86th minute from Anthony as well. Oh, no, it is going to show us. It just took a little while. I'm curious because I don't remember exactly what happened with this goal. I got a feeling it was a cross that cannoned off a defender. But Panzo with the throw into Almendra. Finds Tonali. Oh, I see. And yes, Teles. It was going to be Iwobi, but Teles stretched for it and put it home. But anyway, like I say, we came back from 2-0 down to finish off 2-2. We ended up with a better possession and uh, with a greater number of shots and shots on target. So I was quite impressed with that. But uh, Morega still got man of the match for them. Um, but like I say, it was nice to come away with the point, especially having gone... 2-0 down, so very happy with that in the end. After that, we went up against City away in the league, and we lost 2-1. We managed to get a consolation goal in like the 91st minute, but City were just better than us. As you can see, we didn't play badly. I mean, look at that. There's, there's, okay, there's two players on 6.7, but there's nobody else below that. We played well. It was a good game, but... Manchester City were just better, as you can see. 70 shots to 14 on target to R8 and 6. Um, yeah, and that was that. was that. City just dominated us. They were a better side, so not like I could say. After that, in our last game, we just placed, just faced Norwich at home, beaten 3-1 goals from Anthony Harland coming back after injury. Um, admittedly, he was a little bit unfit, but I played him anyway. But yeah, he hasn't played a massive number of games this season. Um, as you can see, nine starts, three goals, two assists. Average rate is 7.29. But, like I say, he spent some time injured. So, that was a little bit unfortunate. Which leads us up to today's game, which is Champions League again. But this time we're at home to FC Porto. And if we actually have a look at our group, you can see how things are laid out there. All of us have played three games now, which is half the games we'll play in the group, we've all got each other to play again. Obviously, you saw the Barcelona game. Um, you didn't see the Porto or Istanbul game, but you are going to see the next Porto game and the next Istanbul game, probably. But as you can see, Barcelona are top. They've played 3-1-2 and they've drawn one, which was against Porto. Porto have won one and drawn two because they drew against Barcelona and us, but obviously they beat Istanbul. Um, we've won one against Istanbul, drawn against Porto and lost against Barcelona. And poor old Istanbul, well, they've lost all three of their games, so they are bottom. Um, what that means is, moving forward in terms of fixtures, 
Obviously, we're at home to Porto. Barcelona are at home to Istanbul. Porto are then away to Istanbul when we are away to Barcelona. That would be one for us to come away with a point if we can. And then we're at home to Istanbul again. I, I'm, comf- I'm confident, very, very confident that we will be Istanbul again, which is great. But it all kind of depends on how we do against Porto. If we can pull off a win against Porto in this game, then I think we've got a strong chance of finishing second in the group. Um, but yeah, it kind of depends as well on, on how we do against Barcelona. I'd love to come away with a point, but I'm just going to assume we're going to lose at this point. But uh, there's a chance. There's a. It's slim, but there is a chance, like I say. So anyway, that's where it's up to. It does kind of rely i'd like to see porto get another result against barcelona which will be the last game of the group by the looks of things yeah if porto can pull one off against them but like i say if we can beat porto today that may very well be our ticket into the knockout stages okay it is time for everton at home to fc porto in goal it's unai simon a back four of dean kimpembe astley and bacardi Defensive midfield, Tonali. Central midfield, Almendra and Valverde. Left wing, Armada. Right wing, Hlozic. And up front, it's Haaland. Hoping that uh, he's going to pull it off like he did against Norwich in the last match. Um, Yes, pick up where he left off, according to assistant manager. Is that an option? There you go. Pick up where he left out last time off, and that's plenty of motivated people. So we will stick with that. And we will go to the match. Everton in the blue with the white shorts and FC Porto in the yellow. And we will go into full match. We missed the first three seconds, look. But that's fine. It was a Porto kickoff. Mason Holgate representing in the central midfield. He left us, of course, at the end of last season because I wasn't a very good manager to him. Valverde now coming forward. Almendra has got a bit of a run on. Tonali, ball forward. Armada's in the box. Dean with the cross, but it's cleared. Oh, Valverde's back on the ball. Tonali now looking to create something. I tell you what, as great as Tonali is, he is no Sander Berg, unfortunately. But uh, he's done a good job. Porto now back on the ball. Queros with the pass back. I just want to see... I am going to prevent the short goalkeeper distribution. I know they say you should only... Do it if you have two strikers, but there you go. Almendra on the ball, Valverde. Almendra with the ball forward, but uh, a little bit optimistic to expect anyone to chase that, I guess. Well, it's almost two minutes in, and we are looking like we're pressing them nice and hard. Lozek picks up the ball. Oh, and he's forced a free kick. Free kick to be taken by Lucas Dean. Kimpembe has a go, but Costa saves it. Well, I'm going to go on the key highlights, because like I say, we're looking pretty dominant, and I, I'd like that to continue. I'm going to ask us to get creative, though, because maybe I should even go a bit more attacking. Let's go positive. There we go. Two shots, two on target. Throw in for Porto now. Haaland trying to dispossess Holgate, but Holgate holding on tight. Come on, Haaland. Take it off him. Okay, Porto keeping hold of the ball and coming forward now. Come on, Everton. Let's take that ball back. Lucas Diaz. Looks like they're attacking with width. Bacardi tries to block that one. Oh, Almendra puts the ball forward. Haaland's one-on-one and oh. He forces a corner. Keeper had come out well for that one. Dean to take it. Supposed to be a short option, but he chose not to. Oh, Tonali. I was hopeful then, but he overran the ball. Porto on the counter-attack now. Otavio. Dispossessed. Lozek now on the counter-attack. Finds Haaland. Haaland's on his own, looking for support. Almendra now coming forward. Tonali. Oh. Come on, Tonali. Valverde. Lozek for Bacardi. Bacardi with the cross. Nope, he's dispossessed. Well, we've had th- four shots, three on target. Look at that, it changed as I looked. It's gonna, I'm going to demand more quietly here because I really feel like we should have scored by now. Tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to put a bit more width into it and try that. 
34 minutes, 35, still nil-nil. We are looking the better team, but unless we actually put the ball in the net, it doesn't mean anything. Come on, boys. Almendra to Dean. Dean into the middle. Almendra again to Nali. Almendra. Valverde out wide. Dean, another cross. Hlozic with the header. It looks like Hlozic's taken a knock as well. Uh. Well, it's half time. And it's still nil-nil. It's not really where I want to be considering how well we've been playing. I feel like we should... Uh, well, we should already be 1-0 up at this point. Maybe even 2-0 up. So I'm going to assertively say... If we can get a goal, that makes us favourites. I mean, nobody's playing badly. Well, I say nobody. Ryan Astley is not having the strongest game. I'm not going to muck around with him. I'm going to bring on Adara Bayoyo. And I'm just going to assertively say, I have faith in you. I don't know that that will necessarily help. Um, President Kim Pembe could do a pick in his game up a bit. I'm going to be calm and just say, there you go. You can do a bit better. And the same for you, Mr. Harland. There you go. That's left them fired up. I don't want to muck around too much because... Well, you know how it goes. But we've made one substitution. Let's get back to the match. And I'm going to shout, get creative. There we go. Come on, boys. Harlan's game has dropped a wee bit. Everybody's game has dropped a wee bit. Why is that happening? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back. Full match. And I'm going to put us on pressing. And just see how that goes. And just check the analysis here, because yes, and yes. I realise Slozik's still on the pitch when he's injured, which isn't ideal. Kimpembe. Dean, Almendra, Tonali. I mean, we're defending great. Midfield's working nicely. We're just not getting the balls up front, I don't think. Let's just take that off. Let's play it into space. See if that'll help us out. Alverdi with a good tackle there, but did not keep possession. Otavio now trying to get past our fullback, which he does. Oh, he's in the box. And that's a free kick. Fortunately, it was Kimbembe who got tripped rather than the trip. Uh, Unai Simon, Adara Bayoyo. Lovely long ball forward, but unfortunately, nobody to get on the end of it with him. This is not looking like we're going to get three points, is it? Go back to the control option. That was doing a bit better for us. Harland. Almendra. Tonali. Bacardi now. Oh, brought down. Looks like Uribe is getting himself a card. Free kick. Dean to take it. Into the middle. Oh, Harland. He has a go. Well, Lozic seems to be struggling with 61 minutes. He has got a bit of an injury, so it's we'll bring on Iwobi for him. So Iwobi like to play anything better than a winger on support? No. Go on then. Let's give you some inside forward. And Harland, I just don't know what to say about you, really. I'm also going to tell Valverde to get forward. Is there anybody else who's having a wee struggle? Not really, that's it. All right, come on, boys. I don't really have any... Well, there's Feeney, I suppose. We could bring him on as a striker. He has potential. He is from our youth team. In fairness, I don't think Haaland's playing bad enough. If he drops below 6.7, then Feeney might be making a an appearance. All right, let's go back to the match. 62 minutes, give or take. Yes, Lucas Steen can ease off tackles too. Come on, Porto. Kick the ball out. Stop wasting time. Costa. Ooh, Luis Diaz. I will be with the tackle. Let's 
Yeah, Porto are coming forward again. I'm going to go back to, well, Armada with the tackle. And the ball forward to Haaland. Haaland puts it back in the middle for Valverde. Almendra back to Haaland. Almada this time on the edge of the box. Almendra dispossessed. You know what? I'm going to get a shoot on sight. And I should also include be more expressive. And let's take some advantage of our creative players. Kimpembe, Almendra. Kimpembe with the pass back. You know, Simon, to play out the back. Tenali with a ball wide. Bacardi coming forward. Oh, he's kept hold of the ball despite being tackled hard. Tenali. Almendra, oh, too far forward for Iwobi. Well, show some passion, would you, boys? You know Simon is nervous. Almendra and Haaland are motivated, and a few of them are fired up now. Dean with the throw into Haaland. Now playing positive. wonder if I dare go attacking. Valverde. No, could not make that reach. Bacardi. Pardon me, let's go attacking. Throw in for Everton. Bacardi. Haaland. Tonali. Gives it away, unfortunately. And Luis Diaz coming forward for Porto. Kim Pembe tackles him nicely, but does not get hold of the ball. But he's got it now and clears it. Trying to start a counter attack. Not to be. Ah, oh, come on, boys. Well, we haven't been any better since we went attacking, so let's go back to positive. I don't know what else to shout at you, to be honest with you. Still nil-nil. Porto on the attack here. Oh, crossed in. I will be. Come on, Simon, let's not muck around. Well, that's not what I meant either. There's plenty of players you could have passed it to. I wonder if we should take out, play out the back, and get some early crosses in. Let's counter, and let's take long kicks. There we go. See if that makes a wee bit of a difference. Dean puts the ball forward for Haaland. He's on his own, except for Dean. <laughs> Tonali with the ball out right. Rebound finds Bacardi. Tonali, Valverde. Bacardi's out right again, but he's offside. I'm not sure that this wide attacking has necessarily paid off for us, so I'm going to go a bit more narrow and forget this hit early crosses bit and go back. Free kick for Porto. Oh, there we go, Almendra, Almada, oh dear, shoved off the ball. Armada, Tonali, Dean, Armada again, looking looking to find a way through but not finding it, Almendra, as a go, Iwobi tries to pick up the ball, looked like he slid into whomever that was but we got away with it, Otavio now finds Pereira, and Porto just keeping hold of things. Let's go back to balanced. Positive isn't helping us. Kim Pembe finds Haaland again. Haaland to Almada. Haaland again. With the cross, Iwobi. Just gets himself a header. Ooh. Nice tackle from Adara by Yo Yo, but uh, doesn't get the ball back. Diaz forces a throw in for Porto. In fact, he's coming off. Okay, cross in. Almada with the clearance. Haaland on the ball. Kim Pembe. I wonder if... I know that Haaland likes being a pressing forward. Let's put him as an advance forward for a bit and just see how that goes. It's a throw in for Porto at their end. 72 minutes. It's still nil-nil. I'm not liking the look at this. Corona. Queros. Ooh. 
Adora Bayoyo picks up the loose ball. And uh, Almada was fouled there. Looked like uh, he's trying to get on the end of the ball. Free kick. It's an indirect. And Porto are back on the ball. Oh, Valverde. There was a coming together. Looked more like he fouled him to me, but there we go. No cards. Costa with the goal kick for Porto. Iwobi coming forward. Come on, Iwobi. Let's see some something exciting. Be be the hero. Or not. Come on, Almada. We know you're better than that. He's picked his game up. Iwobi's playing all right. Above average, we'll call it. They're all playing above average. But just not quite good enough. Come on, Everton. I thought I'd gone back to key tactics. Could I? No, I didn't. That's why we're seeing so much football. Almendra. Almada. Haaland, oh, it's saved. I don't know if that had gone in or not, if it was too too close, but it's a corner, Dean to take it, but we're not going to see the outcome. Oh, come on, boys, let's get creative. Throw him for Dean. Almendra. Tonali, Almendra again. Iwobi. Haaland, he scored. Everton won, Porto nil. It's his fourth goal of the season. Lovely goal. Lovely assist there from Iwobi. He found space and put the cross in perfectly. Almendra put it out for Iwobi. Burst of speed to get past his man. Perfect cross. Haaland repositions and nods it past the keeper. That's Everton 1. Porto nil. It is only 80 minutes. We've still got seven more minutes. Oh, Nakajima. Pereira. Looking to try and get it past the Almada on the ball. Long ball forward for Haaland to chase, and he's on it. He's in the box. He's got nobody to pass to. Oh, my goodness. So he tried a very, very tight-angled kick there, which went in. We're going to have to watch that in slow motion because, my goodness, we're 2-0 up. That's fabulous. But Haaland, look, on the ball, gets past his man and fires it between the post and the keeper at that tight angle. That's a heck of a goal, mate. That's his fifth goal of the season. Well, that's a lot better. It's coming up to 90 minutes. There's not going to be a lot of time for them to equalise. I know that we came from 2-0 down before, but... Not today, Porto. Not today. Though they are trying. Oh, work, good work from Almendra to get the interception there. Looks like Haaland was impeded. And Almendra... That was not a great shot. He should have squared that, really. But never mind. We've had 19 shots, 13 on target to their 6-1. and one. And we've won it 2-0. That's our second win in the Champions League, Group B. And uh, I'm very happy with that result. Very happy indeed. Um, well done, lads. Fantastic win. Very happy with that. Very happy with the performance overall. Okay, if we come back for a quick review, as you can see, Everton won 2-0 over Porto, but Barcelona beat Besiktas 4-0. Um, yeah, pretty solid result, I would say, from uh, Barcelona there, but if we actually have a look... Uh, competitions, there we go. Yeah, as predicted for Group B, we are in second place after that win over Porto. There were plenty of times there I didn't think we were going to get it. I was concerned they were either going to nick one or it ended up a draw. But we've played four, one, two, drawn one and lost one, which puts us in second place on seven points. Barcelona, of course, top on ten points. They did draw with Porto, though. I do like that they drew with Porto. That's nice. Obviously, now games we've got left include the Istanbul game. Look at them. They're struggling a bit, aren't they? Minus 15 goal difference, bless them. And obviously, another game against Barcelona. Um, like I say, I'm interested to see how Porto and Barcelona get along. Because again, if Porto can get a point on Barcelona or even three points, that gives us a chance to catch up. Um, like I say, I don't think we'll beat them. Again, love a draw against them, that'd be nice. But uh, obviously, we do have to win our game against uh, Besiktas um, in order to hold on to that spot, really. But yeah, other than that, I think that is likely what we will be back for next is said game. Well, we've got the Barcelona game next. Obviously, you've seen us already get beaten by Barcelona, so I'm not going to come back for that one. But I am going to come back for the last game in Group B um, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be get all three points and go through to the next round kind of scenario. 
um, in order to hold on, keep hold of that second spot in Group B. So after that result against Porto, I do fancy our chances. Um, obviously, if we can get if we can get a point against Barcelona, I'd be just thrilled. But uh, realistically, like I say, we've got to beat Besiktas and beat them good. Um, which, like I say, shouldn't be a problem because everybody else has. <laughs> And we did already 5-1. So I do fancy our chances. But like I say, it's not yet a done deal. Um, we might have to wait until the Porto-Barcelona game to see how that goes. But uh, yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more Football Manager videos. And I will see you in the next episode.